Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If Lana vouches for you, I'll let that be enough. For now. Fair enough, Sith. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron, except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Derek are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. Every indication is that Revan died. Surely he's not in control of the order that bears his name. It's not Revan himself, but those who follow his doctrine were concerned with. They seem to have grown rather bold. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... This is Jakaro. And I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence Queen Lena of Onderon. Hey Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> Uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. 
The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. You should know that I was made a Revanite. After crossing Darth Arcus, I doubt your membership stands. Not that the Revanites of now resemble the group as you understood it. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. With ears in both camps, we'll be better off against whatever threats the Revanites pose. I'm glad you feel that way. I admit I was concerned you wouldn't take to the idea. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? I think I'm starting to warm up to you, Lana. Is that right? You should know that the feeling's mutual. I have to go now. There's much yet to uncover about the Revanites' plans and the formation of this infinite army of theirs. I'll be thinking of you. Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force, a sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance, Revanites working against us from within. I found a few. If we could convince them that they were wrong to betray the Empire, They'd be compelled to help us. It's too late for that. From what I've been able to gather, it's clear their devotion to the Order of Revan is unshakable. Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revanites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Now that they know they're up against us, who could blame them? Darth Arcus is intelligent, manipulative and immensely powerful. We mustn't get overconfident. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darrock are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Star Forge. The Star Forge? There was a machine on Nar Shaddaa that was built from it. I'd heard rumors. It required virtually nothing to create almost anything. That was the Starforge's power as well. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revanites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revanites' full control. Darth Arcus's goal is exceeded only by his stupidity. He has betrayed the Empire and the Dark Council for the last time. Ready a shuttle to Rakata Prime. We're going. My shuttle is always prepped, my lord. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planetside. The sooner we depart for Rakata Prime, the better.